This is HP Papillion gaming laptop, the model number 15-EC23X. As you can see, there is an error message that it says there is a cooling system got problem. Means the CPU or GPU fan is not functional properly. Okay, that might happen for a few reasons. One, maybe the thermal paste is completely dried off or the actual fan is broken. So you got the replacement anyway, or let's say some sort of issue with the heat sensor or the fan sensor, one of them. So without taking any risk, we got a couple of fans, one for CPU, another one for GPU. I got it from eBay. It's available if you search with the model number, which printed back of these fans, and then you can get it for quite good price. So first thing, if you see this sort of message, I would suggest you please don't use it, don't force your laptop. That might gonna work for a little while, but afterwards it might completely fry off this CPU and GPU both, which would lead your machine completely dead. So first thing, take a Phillips screwdriver. I always use iFixit tools, which is much more comfortable and you got the full set to disassemble almost any gadgets. So take those screws out and then we're going to pull out the back cover. Once we pull off the back cover, we're going to disconnect the battery first. That's the first things. Okay. And then we'll take out the bolt fan. By the way, we're going to give it a check. Once we open the back cover, we can turn on the machine and see how the fan does spin. And if there is any bad noise or anything after assessing this one, if you find there is any sort of bad noise or kind of not spinning properly, I mean the RPM is low, then definitely that is the fan issues, okay? And if the fan is fine, then still, if you, you need to check if the thermal paste is okay, or this is completely dried off, then you must need to clean it and reapply it. Let's say you done both, and afterwards, still if you see this sort of message, which is very rare, that means the problem is the actual sensor, which is fine. You don't need to worry. You know, you can just disable this message from the BIOS. It should work. OK, so let's get into it and check and sort this out. So I'm going to play the noise and see how the fan does react. From the experiment, we found there is no bad noise from the CPU fan and the RPM was correct. At the same time, GPU fan was not spinning because the GPU is not hot enough. To test both fan, what you should do, you can go to the BIOS and change fan settings into always on. When you change the function into always on, then both of them, once you turn on the machine, is going to start spinning. By the way, I don't want to take any risk. I want to change both fan to see if the problem get resolved. To do this, take out the battery connector and then take out all the screws from the fan. There is no way to make a mistake. I know both of the fan look similar, but because of the shape and alignment, there is no way you can mistake. You can't just switch over. And then we're going to take out the heat sink. Don't forget under the heat sink, there are many thermal pad in there. You can reuse it don't lose it or misplace it and if you would like to change the thermal pad you can do that that would expand the lifespan the heating system and end of this we're going to check if the problem is resolved or not if it doesn't then definitely the problem is the actual heat sensor or the IC.
make sure you clean it properly use some sort of soft pad make sure battery is disconnected that time we've done our best we applied 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol to clean it properly make sure you don't use any water or any, anything because sometimes i found some cases which is so funny so this is 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol and as you can see the thermal paste is one of the top one mx4 the arctic one is really good and don't forget to clean the heat sink and as you can see the pink pad make sure if this one came off then put it back to the position just use a little bit not too much right on the center and then we're going to close it back and everything should be resolved now here is the fact still if you see any sort of message the same one the fan error make sure you give it a try and you see while you have this error if the fan does spin and if the fan does spin if there is no any bad noise you can just ignore it that is fine because sometimes the sensor calibration get faulty get glitch that's absolutely fine okay i tested it and i used it for so long i didn't have any overheating issues okay and also just for safety reason i would say still if you see the same message make sure while you use it you install the app to monitor the temperature and the fan speed okay and if you have this sort of free app then that would help you to monitor the temperature you know and you can find out if there is any problem one of them which is called core temp you can use it that's going to tell you exactly how much temperature in the cpu gpu and you can monitor it okay and if the message doesn't come then everything is fine solved still if you do have any question regarding this model please don't forget to leave it in the comment section and i would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because as you can see i have many videos thanks god also the views are okay by the way i do this sort of videos is not for entertainment it's to help others at the same time and to grow my channel but i don't see that many subscriber many people they left big big comments but they forget to subscribe okay just to let you know guys if you think this video is helpful please subscribe to this channel like and share and i hope i'll see in the next video guys thanks for watching bye for now